Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. I will be showing you how to install the Shulker Box Viewer mod, which is a client side mod, meaning you don't need to install it on the server, you put it on your own computer and then you can use it in game, which is fantastic. Now right now we are on the Let's Play Minecraft Together server. If you haven't seen my series, in that series I'm starting to use some what we call cosmetic mods, which kind of improve the vanilla experience without actually changing the game at all. And one of those mods is the Shulker Box Viewer. And as you can see right here, I have a lot of Shulker Boxes for storing my items. And this mod makes things just a little bit more convenient. If I go and grab one of the shulker boxes off of the wall here. When we hover over it in our inventory, we're no longer going to see that vanilla list of items. We are actually going to see the items themselves. <laughs> that is fantastic and incredibly convenient, as you can imagine. Now, one thing you might have noticed is that when it was on the wall, it was three rows of items, yet when I put it into my inventory, it's only two. And that's because it's actually adding the items together beyond their individual stacks, which makes it easier to look at and see the overall amount of items. Good example of that would be this one over here, which is loaded full of blue concrete powder. So rather than seeing all those different stacks, when we open it up here, we just see uh, the total amount, which is really convenient. So in this chest here, I have a lot of shulker boxes. And with this mod, I don't have to take them out of the chest, put them on the ground, open them up, close them, put them back into the chest again. Oh no, I can look at everything right here. <laughs> And that is super duper convenient, right? Because it makes a chest feel like it's got so much more inside of it now because we get to see the items and know exactly where they are. Let's say we wanted some elytra rings. Yes, it mean I'd need to take that out, put it down on the ground to pick those out, but it wouldn't take me as long to find them as in vanilla. It'll only display the first five or so items. Um, I've also got a shulker box here with one unique item in each so you can see what it looks like when it's the full size. And there is one other feature that I'd like to show you with this mob. It's when you're holding uh, a shulker box in your hand, you'll see the inventory follows you around. So then if we go and hover over another shulker box, you can see that both contents will be displayed side by side. And that is a very nice touch. Didn't have to do that. The mod developer didn't, but uh, they did, and it's pretty fantastic. And speaking of the mod developer, this one was made by Dazzo66. Fantastic idea, Dazzo. I really love your mod. If you're happening to be watching this video, I appreciate the mod ever so much. It is awesome. I plan on using it a lot from this point on because it's super useful, and I hope maybe one day uh, Mo Yang themselves take a hint from this mod and make the interface for shulker boxes a little friendlier. But anyway, that's pretty much everything there is to know about this mod, so now I'm going to show you how you install it on your system. To install Minecraft Forge onto your system, you'll need to visit the website minecraftforge.net. You can find a link to that in the description box down below. On the left hand side, you have all of the Minecraft versions you can download Forge for. And what I would recommend doing is downloading the recommended edition over here. This is the version number and you can see this number is slightly higher because that is the latest version of Forge. However, the recommended ones tend to be uh, the most stable. So then you have to click on the Windows installer. If you're not using Windows, there are other options there as well. And then you've got to wait for five seconds after you've seen the ad. Okay, we can now click on skip and this will take us straight to the file which we can then save to the computer. You now want to locate that file on your computer and simply double click it to run it. This will create a log file in the same directory. You can see it over here. You can delete that after you're done. And this is already set up to be installed to the default Minecraft location. So all you've got to do is click OK. It'll do its thing. It has now installed Forge and it's created a client profile as well. So we need to launch the Minecraft launcher. Now that it's running, we can select a client profile from this menu right here. You can see all of my different profiles and we want to select the Forge one. There it is right there. That's got the version number that we just installed. And then we can click on this button to launch the game. However, before you do that, I highly recommend you go into launch options. You select that profile and you make some changes here. First of all, you can give it a custom name, whatever you want it to be. Maybe give it the name of the mod you're installing. And down here, I definitely recommend putting it in its own game directory so the files don't get mixed with any other ones. So let's put it into its own unique folder called Forge Custom. And now that we've done that, we can save and we can launch the game. 
So down here it says Powered by Forge. That is a very good site. You can see that clearly Forge has launched successfully. I've also gone in and created a world. The reason why is because we can then click on Edit and we can click on Open Folder. And this takes us to the location on our hard drive. So you can see we're looking at the world save. If we go out, this is the saves folder. If we go out again, there is that Forge custom name that I showed you how to create a moment ago. And so now our Minecraft install is isolated into this folder. And most importantly, here is the mods file. This is where you'll need to put the mod that you're downloading into this folder right here. Now that we have successfully installed Forge, we need to visit the Curse Forge website. You can find a link to this exact page in the description box down below. This is the page of the Shulkerbox Viewer mod. You can see it's for game version 1.12.2. And what we need to do, of course, is download it. So we can click on the download button and then we have to wait for five seconds. It will let us download the file. And the folder that I just showed you a moment ago is where you need to save this file to. You want to put that jar file inside of that folder and then you'll be able to launch the game and this mod will be running with it. So I've put it in the mods folder. I've then reloaded the game. You can see down here it now says five mods loaded. If we go and click on the mods button and scroll down, you can see the shulker box viewer here on the side. That means it's successfully installed and it's running on your client. So now the Shulker Box Viewer mod is successfully installed onto your client and because it is a client side mod it means you don't need to do anything on the server. You can log into a regular server with this and that's just fine because this is just a cosmetic mod, right? And that is super duper useful. But anyway, that's going to be it from me this Minecraft tutorial. If you have enjoyed it, leave a like as always. Thank you for the support and if you're curious about the Let's Play Minecraft Together world, there'll be a link to the playlist for that series in the description box as well. But that's it from me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.